BC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, hope you're well and it is Monday, yes. Over here it is, uh, what do you call it? Whit Monday, so Pentecost Monday. It's a day off. When you're retired, I guess people always like to say you, you have nothing else but days off. But anyway, so we had the kids over, the grandkids over, I mean, so it was a, it was a good time. But now I've got two tags. I've got the questions written here and just sitting outside it's getting cool slowly it's but it's still quite warm it's 19 degrees and as you can see i'm just in a shirt so okay we're gonna start with jasmine's tag so five questions as usual uh nice to have you back jasmine okay i i heard i i saw your your tag i know why you were away last last week okay question one an embarrassing drunken moment. Hmm. I think probably the first time that I got really, I was going to say drunk, was we, was that was probably the one I would call my embarrassing moment. Uh, with friends, we were having a nice meal, and then all of a sudden, I mean, I just couldn't take it anymore and had to run uh to uh, to the bathroom and uh yeah for me that was a rather embarrassing moment you know uh, uh losing control is never is never fun okay question two has your life oh, has your life gone the way you thought it would life never goes the way you think it would but um because, I mean, I had seen myself in another career when I was a younger man. Um, and I hadn't thought at the time that I would live abroad. But, strangely enough, quite early in life, when I did not go the way I thought it was, and I'm not going to get into the stories now because I have talked about it before in other vlogs. But uh, at one point, you know, when I was doing my my studies in in, uh, in chemistry I had taught well I'm going to go off to Switzerland and uh, but it was kind of like a bravado joke and here I am actually now living in Switzerland and uh, yeah does life go the way you think it would no although I mean I did marry my I was going to say my childhood sweetheart um, but yeah um, I wasn't expecting to be here so I guess you could have to say not really um, and career-wise, no. Question three. Do you care what people think about you? Certainly more in the past. Uh, less now. But if people say they don't care, it's not really true. People, we usually do care a little bit, at least, what people think about us. Uh, it's easy to say, I don't care. But uh, when you start listening to people talk, you do realize that, in a way, they they do care it might be that they that you are annoyed with them not caring about you because you think they're heartless or something like that but it's still in a way it's you care you know if you didn't care you would you wouldn't bother you know talking about other people or even asking things of them or whatever you know it's uh, i guess it's easy to say you know it's not easy to say you don't care but like i think jasmine said in the in the answer to that, uh, you know, there might be that 1%. Well, like I said in the beginning of this question, is that I care less, a lot less, what people think about me. And there's a certain category of people I don't care at all what they think about me. And of course, if we talk about my family, I would care very much what they thought about me. Okay, so that's question three. Question four is a kind of a funny one. Uh, do you have a ruler? It's like, so every now and then in these tags, there's a a weird question that's thrown in. So yes, I do have a few rulers that I have used before and I still have. Um, I can't show it to you because I'm not in my in my office. Of course, it could mean you have a ruler being somebody that rules over you. I guess we could say, yeah, every married person does. <coughs> but I don't think that's what he meant. Anyway, but yeah. Question five. You have ever had a strange encounter with a wild animal? I was thinking about that when I was, saw the question, and 
I mean, I've seen wild animals. Uh, I even talked about something like, you know, seeing a bear and I've seen mooses. But I was far enough away and it never actually created a, um, a strange encounter. I guess the closest I've had to that, if you can call it a wild animal, was a, a swan uh, on the side of the lake. I think it was on the... I think of the, Th the Thames River in England. And the swan, now I realize probably was, you know, uh, nesting or something, but the swan kind of got up and flapped and, and came at us, you know, to uh, to to uh, get rid of us. That's one. And in a zoo, again, it's a zoo, so is it a wild animal when it's in a zoo? But it was a lion who turned around and peed on the people. Uh, luckily we didn't get it on us. Uh, and what other type of encounter? Like I said, I've seen, I've seen foxes not so far off or so on, but I've never had any weird encounters. I don't think so. Certainly none that come to mind. So yeah, that's about it. So yes, those are the five questions. Um, yeah, okay. I guess I can't add much more to that one. So, DC signing off. Take care, everybody. Hope you have a good week. And thank you very much, Jasmine.